ouais. Hi. What do you do about camping, is it? Yeah. Just wondered if there's anybody to pay or if it's a uh, honesty box or. Well, it's not for camping. Pardon? Is it for camping? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you're the man. It's £5 for your tent per night and £10 per person for a night. Hey? It's £5 to put your tent per night and it's £10 for a night. So if you were staying one day, it's £15. Pound. Yeah. If you were staying two, it's £30. Pound, so. I might just go for that. I'm going to be riding across Ireland and backwards and whatnot. I've been wild for a few nights, oh, so right, okay. I'm not... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll do you one night at minute because I don't know what my plans are tomorrow, yeah? Right, okay. Have you got any change? No, no. Hold on. No, I've only got a fiver and a bit of change. You can get change for the shop tonight. Uh, and just Where is the shop? Uh, well, near, near I've not been before, you know. Near a Kinlock Castle. Yeah. Uh, so you've not been here before, have you? No. No, right, okay. Well, the water and that's a bit down the now, so there's water and that inside there the now, in the huts, so that you can use to drink. Yeah. In that wee hut. Yeah. You can store stuff in there, but we try and keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Is it a shower? Uh, the showers and the toilets are down, down there. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wee hut down there. Yeah. Um, if you go around there, if you come back here a bit. You'll know the castle, wouldn't you? You've seen oh, the yeah, castle. yeah, I've seen so it all. There's yeah. two roads. You've got the shore road and you've got the top road. So that's the telephone box. Yeah. You can go down that way. On the shore road, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can go over the wee stone bridge and it's yeah. about 50 yards around the corner the of the shop. shop. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Open, it's open from yeah. 10, to, to, uh, 10 to 2 and uh, 5 to 7. Great stuff. Every night. Okay. So, so you get changed and you can square it up. Or not. Cheers, mate. No worries. Right. I'll catch up with you no later. No worries. Uh, and just. Uh, just anywhere after basically these benches you can pitch a tent Just off, down there up near the thing. Aye. What's the tick situation like at the minute? Uh, they're quite rife, like, but I don't know what they're like in the camp, so I've not heard anybody saying anything aye, about it. So. Aye, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I'll be right. I had, I had a tick bite on jury years ago, bad yeah, and you mine. And, oh. You know, you know. That eye. They, they, are, they are quite rife right in that, yeah. but I don't know what they've been like in the campsite. Nobody's really said anything. Yeah, but yeah. last year we had a wee boy here. He was like kidding on he was a goalkeeper and they had like 30 ticks on him, eh? so quite bad like. But. Mm. I've got Prometheus on everything, you know. Yeah, so, so you should be alright. Should be alright, yeah. and I'm keeping this lot on, you know. So. Yeah, to be in the safe <laughs> side, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, no worries. Thank you. Hey guys, all right? So this is tonight's gaff. Bikes there. Absolutely stunning. Kinlock Castle over there. I showed you on the video earlier when I put the video together on YouTube. I'll let you know. On the boat. So, we have a communal shed on the campsite on Isle of Rum. This is gorgeous, I'm cooking it. You see my old hillbilly self. Yeehaw, sunshine. Yeehaw. And there's the campsite for tonight. I'll have a ride along when I get set up. Look at Kinlock Castle. All that. And then tomorrow, I think I'll head over the island. So here we go to wash up. Hey, here we go to wash up. It doesn't get much better than this. Hey. So, <laughs> here we go. Right, I'm going to get me one of these at home. I'm definitely 
getting me one of these at home. I mean, come on, who wouldn't? Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this is amazing. show you this after My vid. Lock Castle. I don't know if I'm allowed in here, but the gates are open and nobody's said anything. So let's go and have a look. Lots about you. Lots and lots and lots.
And here we have it, Kinlock Castle, home to George Bullough from 1897 to 1900 I think, who was a linoleum giant from Lancashire, my home county. Seen it numerous times on TV, etc, etc, etc. And um, well, I'm camped over the bay. I've just been to the village shop, a few beers, crisps and stuff like that. And um, I'll show you this place. It's off limits though at the minute, so I can only video. Um, his dad was from Rum, so, um, so he obviously came back and built this place. Uh, I think the stone was imported from the mainland as well to do it. It's quite an extravagant place inside. Big parties and everything like that. So anyway, here goes. I'll turn around. So with it only being 20 miles, I'm going to, I think I'll go and have a, a shower. So me, it's hard work talking to this thing. I don't like talking to cameras at best of times. So I'm just gonna go and have a shower, take me time. I think the sun's up about 12 today, midday. It's gonna be a nice afternoon. So I'm gonna hang on a bit and take advantage of that. So, and then later on, come back, relax, go for a walk around the bay get to bed and then the ferry's at 10 past 11 in the morning back to Malig. So, Malig, Malig. So, um, I'm going to do that, relax as much as. So, it's been, it's, well, I'll tell you later. Yeah. It's a good trip. So, I'll, I'll catch you later, do a bit of vid on the trip, a few pictures, etc. And then, um, well, like I say, I'll we'll see you later. <laughs> I was going to tell you a story early on in the video. Well, I said I'd wait, didn't I? I'll get my banjo out now. Uh, little Billy Blues. As I said, I was a bit dubious about coming here. I had a similar adventure on Isle of Dura in 2011 and that is a deer island like Isle of Rum and I'd ridden the mountain bike up to Gulf of Corrie Wreckham on a blue sky day and got back to the hotel it evades me now and you, everybody had come back off their adventures. The sun was out, the palm trees were there, the beer were going. I'd got a big, the biggest yellow head you could ever see on my knee. Black, um, blue and red. And I, I, I hadn't got a clue about Lyme's disease, to be honest, after being outside all my life. And uh, I just went like that. couple of days later I started feeling rough I wasn't going home until the weekend and before I get going it would land with be a tick bite you're supposed to be on antibiotics within 12 hours so anyway it was it was in the system and just put it in a nutshell I had 18 months of hell so I did egg and the other ones four years ago I think it were and um, the lad said if you've had a tick bite and you've had bad Lyme disease they probably they, they had a really mild warm damp winter and he said we're rife we're covered in them and I'd booked the shear water from Silver Sands I ended up cancelling it and I went back to Malig um, like I said I had all sorts going on 18 months 
I could barely ride my bike three or four miles. Um, it just got really nasty. Apparently somebody said that I should have been in the serious part of the hospital. It got that bad. That managed to scrape through. And I got there eventually with gentle exercise and getting back up to riding again. So here I am. So watch out for tomorrow's bit because it should be good. I'll catch you later. Cheers.